Welcome back, everyone. We're talking to a panel of independent voters. Joe Gandelman is the editor-in-chief of The Moderate Voice. He is joining us live from Naples, Florida. Omar Ali, independent voting analyst, Washington, and Nicole Kurakawa, also an independent voting analyst in Chicago. So, Joe, you heard what I said. Uh, Omar said uh, they don't really represent what independents represent in the sorts of issues. Instead of in inclusion, they push people aside. So what effect do you think that these Tea Party uh, voters will have on the 2010 election? Well, I think you can see two things happen. I think one, uh, it's going to throw the fear of God into Republicans running everywhere because they're going to want that re support from the Tea Party movement. Uh, so it's, it will probably push the party a bit more to the right in the elections because they're going to want to get all the support they can as far as, you know, people on the ground and also the money. And secondly, what we saw in Massachusetts with Scott Brown was there was an element of pragmatism that people didn't think would take place with the Republicans, which is you got the Tea Party people and the more establishment Republicans voting for the Republicans. So if they can put that coalition together of the Tea Party people and the more established Republicans, uh, then it could be quite potent. Um, and I think the other third impact of this is going to be that uh, moderate Republicans are already endangered, but they could go the way of payphones. Mm -hmm. Omar, then what do you think Sarah Palin's presence, if any, you heard what he said, he's talking about impact. Impact on those Tea Partiers who aren't Republicans or who may be leaning right. Do you think it will have any influence at all? I mean, look, Sarah Palin is a social conservative. She's not an independent. What people who are independent are attracted to is the idea of getting rid of parties. In fact, they, that's what they're trying to do. What the Tea Party folks are trying to do is take over the Republican Party. So there's a fundamental difference between these independents and the Tea Party people. And Sarah Palin essentially is the new face of that conservative movement which takes the form of the Tea Party. But it's very different from what independents have been doing for the last 20 years, which is focusing on opening up the political process, not being either a Democrat or Republican. Independents want to be independent, and that makes up 42% of America's people right now. So that's very significant. Well, it's very interesting the amount of attention she gets, and she doesn't even hold office anymore. So Nicole Kurakawa, uh, Omar Ali, and Joe Gandelman, thank you, our independent panel. Always like what you have to say. I'm going to try to bring you back again because it's nice to know what our independent voters are thinking. Appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you.